Hi motion capture lovers, what's going on? Today we'll talk about calibration, the most important but also challenging step in setting up RemoCap, your suitless, markerless, real-time motion capture. The process I'm about to explain to you today consists of two main steps, which are the calibration and the scene setup. These two steps are complementary to each other and it is also necessary that you start with the first step. The calibration process requires a chessboard paper and the scene setup process requires an origin marker paper. But we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves. So let's start with the first step, calibration. So why should we calibrate anyway? The AI behind our software needs to have a detailed analysis of the camera's lens to work its magic. But before you start, you need to take care of a few things. Go to this link and download the chessboard paper for the calibration process and the origin marker paper for the scene setup process. I will include the link in the description. We start with the chessboard paper. Download it, print it on either A3 or A4 paper and stick it to a cardboard so it doesn't bend during the calibration. Then you measure the length of the chessboard in millimeters and enter it into the application settings in RemoCap. Remember, all these things you will only have to do once. Now let's start the calibration. Go to the RemoCap camera settings tab and depending on the number of cameras you want to use, choose one of the layouts in the top right corner. In this case, I'm working with two cameras positioned horizontally, so I'll choose this. If you have your webcams plugged in, it should appear in this drop down here in the camera section. Remember, if you connect your camera while RemoCap is running, you need to close and reopen it to have that specific camera appear in the list. Choose one of the camera slots and select a camera from the list. Here you can change the resolution. Higher resolution should result in better animation quality. You can mirror the image. But is it necessary? And the answer is yes. If you see your image is mirrored, make sure you mirror it back to normal, as otherwise you will run into complications. You can also rotate the image so that the scene is upright. If the video seems to flicker, click on the flicker reduction option and set it to 50 Hz. Once you have all the above options set, click on the calibrate button, grab the chessboard paper you printed earlier and hold it in front of each and every tile you see on the screen. Once it turns green, move on to the next tile. Here's a quick tip. Don't go off camera because you won't be able to turn the tile green. You should have all the red dots visible in the camera's view. Another quick tip. If your camera's image is vertical, hold the chessboard paper vertically. And if it is horizontal, you hold the paper horizontally. Try to maintain a somewhat consistent distance between the chessboard paper and the camera's lens. Once they're all green, press save. You'll get a calibration accuracy percentage, showing you how good the calibration went. The higher the percentage, the better and more accurate animation you will get. Now, here's a tip that can help you score higher here. Once the red dots appear, fitting more of them inside each tile will result in a better calibration. Anyway, after each camera calibration, save the calibration data so you won't have to do it again for this very configuration, meaning if you decide to change the resolution or change the camera from a horizontal to a vertical position or vice versa, you have to calibrate for the new configuration. Alright, calibrate all the cameras and save. And we come to the scene setup. This setup helps RemoCap analyze the position and the orientation of the cameras. It also confirms whether you have done the previous step, the calibration, successfully. So once again, download the origin marker paper, print it and stick it to a cardboard. Just like you did with the chessboard paper. Put it on the floor, somewhere it can be seen by all the cameras and press the set button. The x-axis shows the forward direction. For instance, if you point the x-axis to your left, the default standing position of your character in Unreal Engine will be toward the left. 
If you see a normal grid such as this, congrats, you've done a great job during the calibration setup. If the grid is skewed and or not parallel to the floor, it means the calibration was not done correctly and you need to go back and redo it. Remember, the paper should not be higher than the floor level. For instance, you put it on a very thick cardboard and it's two centimeters higher than the floor level. That may lead to inaccuracies in your animation. Think of it this way. The origin marker, as the name suggests, is the origin of the scene or the starting point X, Y, Z. And naturally, it should be on the floor level. Do the scene setup for all the cameras and save. If during the scene setup for one of the cameras, the origin marker paper is moved, you will need to do the scene setup process for all the cameras again. After you perform the scene setup for all the cameras, you can press the export configuration button to save all the camera calibrations and the scene setup and the rest of the settings in the software in one file, which means you will have to do all the above only once. The only exception is if one of the cameras is moved and all you have to do next time, besides importing the configuration file of course, is to do the scene setup for all the cameras. In other words, you will not have to do the calibration ever again. Subscribe to get the latest news and updates about RemoCap, your markerless, suitless, real-time motion capture. See you soon.